Hi, my name's Rachel Andrews. Welcome to Everyday Athlete. On this week's video, I'm looking at how to dry neoprene gloves and boots. And if you stick around to the end, you'll see my homemade method for drying them overnight without using any heat or electricity. So there are three really good reasons why you might want to dry off your neoprene boots or gloves. Number one, biosecurity, making sure we're not spreading non-native invasive species around the country. So making sure that stuff is washed out and flushed out with fresh water and then dried completely. Um, the next is comfort because putting on damp and cold wetsuit boots and gloves is pretty horrible. And the third one is to make them more socially acceptable because it stops them from smelling. So let's get into how to dry wetsuit boots and gloves. The thing that I do in the summer is I will turn them upside down and I'll put them on the top of a mop stick or garden tools out in my, against my back fence and let them air dry naturally, which is absolutely super and that works a treat um, in the summer and in actual fact they're pretty much dry by bedtime by doing that way. However, where it's about zero degrees at the moment, that just isn't going to cut it. It won't dry out just by sitting outside. Another thing I've had quite some success with is stuffing with a newspaper. Worth ripping them up a bit. You need some balls of newspaper which you can feed into the boots. But you don't want it in too tightly packed because you're not trying to stretch the neoprene, you're just trying to take the moisture out. So, stuff it in. Feed it down. So that's taken a couple there. I think you get the idea. Just keep stuffing um, until, and hopefully holding the top of the boot nice and open. Something that I've been doing recently is putting a toilet roll, empty toilet roll, inside the end to try and hold them open. And I think that actually the toilet roll plus the paper combination might be quite a good one. It's fairly readily available. Well, toilet rolls are for sure. Newspapers, maybe not so much. Then I struck on an idea. I could use these little silica gel beads, which come in with trainers or anything that you're sent pretty much nowadays. And I could use those to help draw the moisture out of my wetsuit clothing. So what I thought I'd do is use the ones that we've got of these lying around, plus at home we had from a different project some orange silica beads, and I thought what I'd do is stuff them into a sock uh, and sew the sock up so that I could make a wicking item. Not being one for throwing things away, if I go through the heel of my sock, which is always the first bit that goes, I throw the sock away that's damaged, but I keep it um, it's brother or sister because I don't like to throw away a useful sock. However, I don't often get to wear those odd socks, so they made a perfect item to use. So what I've done, this is, um, I thought a small sock like this would be good to put into gloves, because again, I don't want to stretch the cuffs on them, I just want to draw the moisture out. So I've put, there you go, about half a foot's worth of beads into here. I've sewed it up with a little machine there and then I'm just going to slot them inside the glove. Now, it takes a little bit of patience to just feed them in. But once you get these in just past the cuff, I just want it to sit in the palm area to try and draw out that moisture. Give them a bit of a shake. There we go. And that will just sit nicely. I just leave that somewhere just sitting on the floor and um, that should draw the moisture out pretty quickly. So with the boot, I made a big one. I raided the uh, socks of the other person in my house and uh, found some nice long ones 
um, because you need to be able to feed it down but you also need to be able to retrieve it so as you can see I've got a long sock uh, I think this is a size 9 and again I've gone probably two thirds up I've filled this one with need plenty of space to be able to jiggle it around because it's a bit of a game to get them into the wetsuit boot but we'll have another go so here we go just trying to jiggle it around the corner what I'm trying to do is get almost the whole sock inside a bit of squeezing that's it it's starting to move now yeah it's not the easiest thing but you know this couple of minutes spent doing this I tested these yesterday I washed them filled them with the silicon sock uh, put them in my bathroom and they dried overnight which is a revelation I wish I'd thought of this earlier so really easy to do uh, you can get hold of silica beads either by snipping all those little packets if you happen to have kept them like I had done um, or you can buy silica beads and they're probably about seven or eight quid for a kilo and I think I think in this one there's about 350 grams maybe so for a kilo's worth you can probably make ones for your um, for your gloves and your socks really cheap method super quick and it doesn't require heat so if you are biffing overnight or if you are uh, not able to get your kit out it will stop the neoprene smelling and it will dry them out the thing I like about the silica beads is that they are rechargeable so once you've taken them back out of your glove or your boot just pop them on top of a radiator and that will dry them back out and they're good to go again so really reusable super easy method of drying your kit one thing I would caution against would be putting your neoprene items onto direct heat standing them somewhere near a radiator might be okay a few feet away maybe but not direct heat onto them because that will dry out the neoprene and can damage it I hope you enjoyed this week's video and if you have please consider giving it a like and hitting the subscribe button and don't forget to ding the little bell so you know when the next one's out but I'll let you into a secret I publish them every Tuesday. I'll see you next week. Bye.